show chapters J.P. Morgan's Diamond. I could beat Trump 10 hours ago, 321 J.P. Morgan chased Chief Executive Officer Jamie Diamond took a swipe at President Donald Trump, claiming that he could defeat the president in a head-to-head -head election. I think I could beat Trump, Diamond said Wednesday during an event held at his bank's Park Avenue headquarters in New York. Because I'm as tough as he is. I'm smarter than he is. I would be fine. He could punch me all he wants. It wouldn't work with me. I'd fight right back. Shortly after, Diamond addressed the uproar caused by his comments. I should not have said it. I'm not running for president. The CEO said about an hour after the original exchange. The off-the-cuff outburst proves I wouldn't make a good politician. Diamond said. I get frustrated because I want all sides to come together to help solve big problems Diamond. 62. Has been outspoken about what the U.S. needs to do to improve economic growth for a broader set of participants. He's also pushed for common sense reform on topics ranging from immigration policy to infrastructure spending. So he's often asked whether he would run for president. In the past, he has said that while he would like running the country, he could never win an election. But the victory of Donald Trump in 2016, another billionaire New York businessman, raised the possibility that Diamond might change his mind. Still, while the question is likely to remain, Diamond maintained that he probably couldn't win. In Wednesday's original comments, he indicated that it's unlikely a rich banker could defeat a liberal candidate. I can't beat the liberal side of the Democratic Party, Diamond said, adding that the Democrats needed to get their act together by not attacking businesses. Show Chapters J.P. Morgan's Diamond I'm not running for president nine hours ago, 358 Diamond, who was speaking at an event to tout a new philanthropic effort. J.P. Morgan's $500 million program to boost economic growth in select cities around the world is known for speaking bluntly. Since rising to prominence by capably steering his bank during the financial crisis, Diamond has criticized regulators for overlapping efforts, called investors who follow proxy advisor services lazy and said that Bitcoin investors were stupid. But more than anything else that seems to get Diamond's go to dysfunction in Washington, D.C. last year, Diamond said it was almost an embarrassment to be an American citizen traveling around the world and listening to the stupid s we have to deal with in this country. Diamond, a lifelong Democrat who was reportedly considered for Treasury Secretary under the nascent Trump administration, has said he's tried to influence the president as a former member of a now disbanded advisory group of business leaders. Diamond is also chairman of the Washington-based Business Roundtable. Before he was done, Diamond took another swipe at Trump. And by the way this wealthy New Yorker actually earned his money. Diamond added, It wasn't a gift from Daddy. Here are Diamond's full comments. Question. Why not throw your hat in the ring? Jamie. Laughter. Diamond. I mean, I've said this before Trump was elected. You're not going to get a wealthy New Yorker elected president. Boy I was dead wrong. And by the way, this wealthy New Yorker, pointing to himself, actually earned his money. It wasn't a gift from daddy. And I grew up in a poorer part of Queens than he did. But I am a banker. I am part of the elite. He. I don't think the American public looks at Trump as part of the elite. They look at him as the upstart who punched the elite in the nose every day. And so I think, I think I could beat Trump. I can't beat the liberal side of the Democratic Party. Question. You think you can beat Trump? Diamond. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Laughter. Because I'm as tough as he is. I'm smarter than he is. I would be fine. He could punch me all he wants. It wouldn't work with me. I'd fight right back. But you have these. Dot the Democratic Party. They've got to get their act together in terms of understanding how society actually works. Because if they just keep on pounding away at business. I watch these ads on TV with all these people they're all running and they're all going to. Wags finger. 
business where are their places well okay right that's going to really work that's going to really succeed anyway my wife wouldn't let me either she told me she'd love to be first lady she did not say that but i do think it'd be a really interesting white house if she were first lady it would be a little bit dot you compare yourself remember that show the nanny with fran drescher laughter she says that not me watch extended interview diamond on 2008 financial crisis show chapters watch cnbc's extended interview with jamie diamond on the 2008 financial crisis 11:15 a.m eastern time tuesday the 11th of september 2018 14:10, with reporting by cnbc's don gill and liz moyer